Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. What you heard me play at the start of this video was a variation on the blushter where I've just basically extended it by adding a few more flams. So let's begin by talking about the blushter itself. What is the blushter? The blushter is a lick, it's a flam lick, a flam pattern that was popularized by Tony Williams, I reckon created by Tony Williams. And then it started to reach a bit more popularity around the late 80s. The first time I heard this lick, it was actually played by Steve Smith. I think I heard him play it on his videos. I think Steve Smith part one and part two, late 80s perhaps. And the other great exponent of this lick is Gary Novak. And he plays this a lot and he makes it sound really incredible. So let me just quickly explain what the blushter is. I want you to think of it in three, four and I'm going to make this really simple. It's going to be a quarter note, two eighth notes, and a quarter note in three, four. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. The first beat is a left hand flam, which means that the left hand is playing the primary stroke. The right hand is actually playing the grace note. So that would be this. The second beat in our bar of three, four is two eighth notes played with the right hand, one. And then the third note, the quarter note on beat three is played as an accent with the left hand. So very slowly, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. So that's the blush star. I don't think Tony Williams called it that. I think it got its name just because that's the way it sounds. Blush da blush da blush da blush da blush da blush da blush. You know, that sort of thing. Anyway, this lick got really popular to the point where it seemed like everyone was playing it because it's easy to play and it sounds great. I tend to shy away from playing it or at least playing it in the way that everyone else seems to be doing. So I've got to figure out a way of playing it where it's probably not so common and using the basic idea of the lick but just changing it a little bit so that it sounds like something that I may have come up with that's not the same way that everyone else is doing it. I think you know what I mean. An example of this is playing the blush da over triplets. I really like playing the blush da over triplets. I've done a video on that, which I'm gonna leave a link to in the description below. So what I'm doing with this particular lick is just increasing the time signature. I'm gonna give you a 4-4 version and I'm also gonna give you a 5-4 version. So as I said to you, the original version was in 3-4. I'm gonna add an extra beat. All I'm going to do to this is just add an extra quarter note on beat four and play that as a flam. So our original version in three, four is one, two, three, one, two, three. So the 4-4 version is just going to have a flam on beat four. The first three beats are the same. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So what I'm going to do as an orchestration is split the flams, the one on beat one and the one on beat four, between two voices. I'm going to play my right hand on the floor tom and I'm going to play my left hand on the snare drum. One, two, three, four. In order to get a bit of fatness out of this sound, I'm going to play the left hand accents as rim shots on the snare drum. One, two, three, four. Now, as I said to you, I'm actually demonstrating these as combinations of quarter notes and eighth notes, but then as you get more comfortable with it, and once you understand and become familiar with the concept, then you can upscale those subdivisions to say eighth notes and 16th notes, or 16th notes and 32nd notes, depending on the, um, on the tempo that you're playing at. Also, I'm gonna leave a link to a PDF that you can download that accompanies this video, which hopefully will help you understand what's going on. So I'm gonna leave a link to that 
in the description below. So we've got a 3-4 version and we've got a 4-4 version. I'm going to add a 5-4 version to this mix. So all we're doing again is playing the 4-4 version but we're going to add another flam on beat 5. So we're just adding single quarter note flams as our extra beats. So now we've got 1, 2 and 3, 4, 5. 1, 2 and 3, 4, 5. That's the rhythm that we're playing and um, I'm just going to use the same orchestration as I did before. So I'm just going to give you a bar of five count in and I'm going to play this lick. One, two, three, four, five. So I would suggest that you just practice each one of these three ideas, the original Blushter plus the 4-4 and the 5-4 variations, and then get comfortable with moving your right hand around the drum set, just working on each pattern on its own. Beyond that, and as you heard me play at the start of this video, I just, I just mixed them up. I just randomly played between all three of those variations. And that's what I'm going to do for you now. So this is going to be a slowed down version of what you heard me play uh, at the start of the video. As with everything that I play, regardless of its time signature, whether it's 3-4, 5-4, 7-4, I try to relate everything back to 4-4. So I'm going to give you a count in 4-4 in into this exercise I'm going to play. So I'm just going to mix all of these three variations up. One, two, three, four. So that's the idea, just getting comfortable mixing these patterns up. I'm going to take the tempo up a little bit now and I'm going to think in 16th notes and 8th notes, that combination rather than 8th notes and quarter notes. One, two, three, four. What I'll do now is I'm going to trade two bars of time and two bars of this idea. So two bars of time in 4-4 and then two bars of these randomly placed different time signature blushter situations across two bars of 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. So that's it, that's the two variations on the original Blushter that we've created by adding extra beats and playing those extra beats as flams. So use your imagination, try and be as creative as you can, you can extend these even further if you like, and you can also experiment with the orchestrations, you don't just need to move your right hand around the toms, maybe you might like to try using your left hand as well around the toms or using cymbals, that's entirely up to you. So be creative. Have fun, have fun. That's all I want you to do is have fun and enjoy this. So if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video, which is every week. So until next week, have a great week wherever you are in the world. Um, here in Australia, the, pretty much the whole country's gone back into lockdown, so things are not so great here. Anyway. Enjoy yourselves wherever you are, have fun, see you soon, bye. In order to get a bit of fatness and sexiness into this sound, I'm going <laughs> to, I can't believe I just said that.